Well, we uh, now in that little conversation, and we're crossing now to uh, Zambia for a market update uh, in Zambia. And I'm joined by Kasonde Shapata, who is a market analyst at Shuriken Networks. Good morning, Kasonde. I know you've got a couple of big agreements, uh, people signing papers, a statutory instrument about uh, monitoring balance of payments, and a, a bank agreement. But let's start with the overall state of the market before we talk about those things. Doesn't sound as if Cassandra has uh, heard me there. Cassandra, can you hear me? Uh, we're talking about the state of the Zambian market first and then talking about a couple of those big agreements that they have. Because um, the all share index was up like a 14 basis point, which was very good, and that was on a short long term on a short term. And on the longer term, the market too is being uh, positive again. So, uh, so far, so far, so good. Everything has been going up. Now, let's look at those. And, uh, Carry on. Yes. Uh, on those agreements, the biggest one that we've all been waiting for and good enough it has come through was the statutory uh, agreement that the minister signed. That, for us, it's been long overdue because, um, as usual, it always has something for everybody. There are those who are for it and those who are against it. For those who are against it, I'm sure they're scared about the control that is established. Well, I think just, just to for pause for a moment uh, and give us the context for it, uh, what this agreement is for, what it's trying to do. Okay. Uh, one thing we can all agree upon is that Zambia is um, an exporting country when it comes to mining resources. And there's been an ov overcry for people saying that they don't benefit out of the export resources. So what the government was trying to do is what could be the best way to control those uh, export so that everybody can benefit out of it. And what they came up with this uh, instrument where they will be able to control the flow of foreign exchange. Now, those who are against it, I guess it's because of that control that will be established because uh, you have to report everything when it comes to foreign exchange or forex. And for those who are good, myself inclusive, is that it's a very good thing because, for instance, all exporters have to open a foreign currency account in the country, in Zambia. So for any, every export they make, they have to report, after two years, they have to bring back the money. And for every other investors who are coming into Zambia, they are also required to bring their capitals in Zambia into a foreign currency account. So that is very good for the economy because it will allow the economy to have enough foreign exchange to be used as the currency is object to uh, supply and demand. We've always been having a problem with supply of foreign currency, but having investors and exporters bringing back their um, money will really help the supply side of the foreign currency, which will really stabilize the kwacha, which has been suffering so much because of lack of supply. And they seem to be at pains, Cassandra, to say this is not about exchange controls. It's about transparency, accountability. It's about seeing what's happening as opposed to trying to control uh, uh, currency flows. Exactly. And that's the point we want everybody to look at. There is no control because there are no limit that have been uh, put in place but it just allow everybody to control because how could the government uh, have a good measure of what is coming in if nobody is reporting so the only problem those who are against have is that uh, reporting issue but it's all about monitoring that's the all problem that the government is trying to establish okay. but as i said economically the country will really benefit out of it because we have enough supply of foreign currency coming into the country. Well, that sounds like good news then. And Cassandra, the other agreement that's uh, been mm -hmm. signed, the UK Development Finance Institution CDC Group PLC with Standard Chartered Bank, yeah. a $100 million risk participation agreement. What's that about? Okay, that again we can say we're a little bit skeptical. It's a very good news coming in, but we're a little bit skeptical because that money, the 100 million, will be shared among 19 countries. It will be allocated to those 19 countries. Now, Zambia is part of them. How much will be allocated to Zambia? We don't know yet. And even when it's allocated to Zambia, they have to share. So how much will the local exporter get out of that money so that it can have an impact? on the market. 
So those are details we're still looking forward so that we can be happy to appreciate such kind of signing. So it's good, it makes, to me, a very good headline signing as long as they haven't given us the details of how people here in Zambia will benefit from such a signing. So okay. we're still waiting for us to be really happy about it.